love to have you on. So much to get to. The last time we spoke, um, you weren't taking any garbage off of Mark Zuckerberg or anybody else in social media. You called Facebook out. Zuckerberg had to go to a hearing and, inv- and, and had to answer questions in front of a, this investigation in, in front of Congress. He lied on you, said that they, that they reached out to you and they hadn't yet. Has anything changed on Facebook? Because they were squelching you guys pretty badly. Well, you know, it's still the same old, same old. People are not receiving their notification. We're not showing up in our followers and fans' news feed. People, uh, when they come to our page, our content won't load for them. When they press on one of our videos, it's not playing. So we're still getting the constant complaints. The one thing that we love is that the RNC and the Trump campaign stepped in and wrote Facebook a letter. That's right. So we will see what happened in June. What are they going to do about this censorship issue? Well, it's a big deal because, as you know, uh, Senator Ted Cruz asked Zuckerberg directly, are you leaning one way or the other? Are you biased? And if you are biased, you're going to lose your, your immunity from liability. In other words, if, if I go on there and call somebody a murderer, nobody can sue Facebook or Mark Zuckerberg because he, 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 he pretends to be even-handed and unbiased. If he shows a leaning left or right, he can be sued, and he's on the hook for that. And Zuckerberg said, we have reached out to them. We're solving this problem. I know because he sh- somebody showed him a picture of you, too. Oh, yeah, that's Diamond and Silk. He knew exactly who you were. You're telling me nothing has gotten any better? Not to us. Well, allow me to first clarify something, okay? Sure. Because you're speaking of whenever he was before the hearing, okay? Yeah. Diamond and Silk, we also had our judiciary hearing before the and board you did great. Um, concerning you did so Facebook well. as well. Right. But right after the judiciary hearing, okay, uh, someone did finally reach out to us where we was able to make a connection yeah. with someone, okay? okay? We replied back to them with an email, um, and after about a week or so, we're still waiting on a response back from the email. But we did touch base with someone after the judiciary hearing gotcha. of Diamond and Silk, right? okay? Since then, since the judiciary hearing with Mark Zuckerberg and our judiciary hearing, yeah. things have gotten worse. Right. It's gotten worse. Mm-hmm. People are not receiving notifications. Um, whenever they come to our page, they can't share our information. There was once a time whenever we used to reach anywhere from two to nine, up to nine million people a day. Yeah. I know you did. Okay, so imagine us having one million people, those people sharing our content and so forth. That's how you're able to get two to nine millions a day. Now, th- when we look at the analytical, we're lucky if we get anywhere from 100,000 to 500,000 reach a day. That's stunning. And so it's one ninth, yeah. basically, of what you guys were doing. It's Diamond and Silk. Go and follow them at Diamond and Silk on, on Twitter. Find them on, on Facebook as well. Is it chattour.com, ladies? Is that what it was? It's chitchat.com. Darn it. Darn it. I'm sorry about that. That's right. Uh, it's chitchattour.com. Make sure you go there. Find out where they are and go spend some time. These are remarkable ladies. Let's talk about the economy. This okay. president is doing exactly what he said he would do and what you've been advocating for ever since we became aware of you. Tell me your thoughts when you see these numbers that came out last Friday that show everybody, but everybody, is going back to work and is really benefiting from Trump's policies. Well, you know, we're grinning for ear, from ear to ear. Yeah. The one thing that this president said when he was running, he said, I will be the best job creator. And yeah. now look. He is the best job creator. So the economy is booming. Unemployment among African American and Hispanics is at an all time low. Home ownership is at an all time high. Entrepreneurship is at an all time high. He cut regulations, moved regulations where people can now thrive in this country. Yeah. He took you from welfare to the workforce. Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah. absolutely love it. He is doing an amazing job. And those same jobs that President Obama said were never. Never come back. Mm -hmm. He said they will never come back here. Guess what? Those jobs are back. People are happy and they are working. And it took less than a year and a half to bring him back, too. And you're right. He said that specifically. That other guy who's running, he doesn't. I'm not even going to mention his name, but those jobs are gone. Those jobs are gone. So, so, ladies, you know I love you. And I mean that um, you also happen to be under attack constantly from from black activists because you happen to be beautifully African-American. When you see an April D. Ryan, this reporter, say say things like this. And this is in context. Yes, black people have more jobs and it's basically full employment. But 
this president hasn't done enough specifically for black people. What does she even mean? And, and how does that make you feel when you hear that? Well, you know what? First of all, you have to realize April Ryan is a what we call the the race baiter. That's, That's right. what you call a race baiter. Yeah. And the only way she can get some attention as a journalist is by throwing out and spewing hate like that. Let me tell you something. Up under this president, because the African American president, he didn't care about people whether they had jobs or not. That's if right. If you look it up under Obama, the Obama administration, the unemployment among African American and, and um, among women women were very, very high. Yeah. He was unconcerned about that. He pushed everything that the elitists in Hollywood wanted him to push, mm -hmm. and now he's getting his kickback, paddy whack, give a dog a bone yeah. moment. <laughs> he got the book deal. Uh -huh. He got the next flick deal. He and he got houses everywhere. You see what I mean? So he went in poor, came out with some change, right. and shortchanged everybody. So then you take, and you now you have a businessman come along mm -hmm. who happens to be a billionaire, and say, you know what? I'm going to change the whole game. Yeah. And guess what? I'm going to give my paycheck away. That's I don't right. even want to be paid for it. That's because right. all I want to do is make America great again. And you got the people like April Ryan that can't even give this president credit, credit. for even making sure that all of us, yes. including African Americans, That's have right. jobs. Not only a job, but a good job where people are thriving instead of just barely surviving. And one more thing. Yeah. President Donald J. Trump did this in a matter of a year and a half. Yeah. President Obama, and, he, and by the way, he's biracial. Right. He had eight years, and what did he do? Mm -hmm, he was right. ready to sign TPP to send more jobs yeah. overseas. That's right. Okay? That would have kept more black people unemployed. President Donald J. Trump did this, this country a great service and justice by bringing jobs back here for all people. He didn't look at the color of anybody's skin. He just know everybody needs jobs. Because one thing about President Donald J. Trump, the only color he sees is green and he wants everybody to have some. I, right. I, couldn't, I couldn't agree more. It's Diamond and Silka. Yes. Follow them on Twitter. Follow them on Facebook. Chitchattour.com. Go there. Find out where they are and go and spend some time with them. Uh, I've got to bring up Don Lemon quickly. I, I don't, I don't want to make you even matter, but this idiot said, yes, he's given black people jobs, but he hasn't given them respect. Oh, please. Are, are these people, uh, uh, ladies, are these people stupid or are they doing this on purpose because well, there are some ignorant. stupid people that'll buy it? Well, let me mention They're something ignorant. about Don Lemon. Yeah. yeah. He want to talk about this president, but he should talk about his own self because he didn't give two black women uh, 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 respect either because on his national platform, on national television, yes. he called us liars, did not retract it, and we had to call him out about, it, about right. it. But you, this is what they do. They are trying to, the left yeah. is trying to win win an election, mm -hmm. okay? So what they do is they throw out these here dog whistle words. Yes. They use the race car. They're like the gatekeepers. Yeah, that's right. We call them the gatekeepers of that Democratic plantation. That's right. But let me tell you something. People are waking up. They don't need this media spoon feeding them nothing. They can feed their own self. They can think for their own selves. And guess what? They're coming. They're walking off the Democratic plantation. Yes. You're not going to be able to hold them with the dog whistling words. That's right. So what we do is we ignore the people like the April Ryans and the uh, uh, Don, Don Lemons. That's why their ratings are so low. Yeah. We didn't even know who an April Ryan was until she started race baiting up there in that press room at the White House. I'm surprised he still have credentials. It, it, it's my belief, and I wonder if it's your belief, that people like Don Lemon and April Ryan and Barack Obama and Eric Cole or those who separated us by race were separating us not because of some inherent uh, uh, hatred between the races or the ethnicities, but to control us. If you separate That's us, right, you can control us. And if you control us, you can keep on winning elections. Do you agree? I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And it is time for us to stop dividing ourselves based on skin color yeah. and start uniting ourselves based on the fact that we are Americans. Right. And when we see people do it, call them out call or them ignore out. them and keep it moving, baby. This man that we have, that's our president, who happens to be the businessman, he's not a career politician. He don't waver, nor does he back down. He is truly making America great again. Not just for one set of folks, but for, for everybody. Oh. Even the ones that call him now. 
nasty names yeah. that demean him, yeah. disparage him, and disrespect him. He is making America great again for them, too. It's Diamond and Silk. Follow them everywhere on Twitter, on Facebook, and also go to chitchattour.com. Uh, before we go, ladies, and I really, really appreciate the time again, um, the Philadelphia Eagles were going to go to the White House. They were invited. They won the Super Bowl. And I think out of a 44- or 45-man roster, 10 players were going to show up. And the president said, no, that's not going to work for me. For some reason, the pre- yeah. and, and, and I, I want your thoughts in a second, but, but it seems to me that immediately the left media said, at ah, race, it's about black players and the president. Oh, and, oh, oh. So, oh, so, oh, so oh, they oh, went oh, there oh, first. No. What are your thoughts about them? Only, they were only willing to send 10 and him canceling it. First of all, it is an honor when a sitting president invite you to the White House. That's yeah. right. So you can't play the race card when he invited you, you, there were people that showed up to see the Eagles, but the Philadelphia Eagles was acting like Philadelphia chickens because they <laughs> chickened out. That's and right. I think they were trying to embarrass this president. Yeah. So he said, you know what? We ain't going to have none of none this here. You know, we live in one of the greatest countries on earth. These these, these NFL players, they make millions of dollars That's right. throwing the ball from one side of the field to the other. Mm-hmm. And to take and try to use this protest or whatever on our time, our watch, and our dime as something that is, because it's their free freedom of speech, mm-hmm. You don't do that on our watch and our time and our dime. That's right. Do that somewhere else. Yeah. We pay our money to come see you right. play ball. And why don't they go to Chicago and protest? That's right. Why they don't go? Why don't they go to these inner cities that's ran by Democrats yep. that is run down and we call them hell holes? Why don't they go there and protest that? That's right. Why would you protest? The American flag, the American national anthem. Why would you protest that? And the only time they need to kneel is when they pray to God or they need to be praying that the president can continue to make this place great where we are all thriving again. And how would these Amazing. NFL players like mm. it if we took and we protest when they was out there on the field about That's the right. fact that they making millions of dollars and they ain't really doing too much or nothing? How about that? See, there's Every... a time and there's a place for everything. That's we right. don't protest in the church. Mm-hmm. We don't throw protests in the courthouse. There's a time when we pay our money to get away from politics. That's, That's right. not the time for them to protest. Yes. If you want to protest, protest somewhere else, but you can't do it on our time or our watch or our dime. They are Diamond and Silco. Follow them on all the social media, on Twitter, on Facebook. Go to the website, chitchattour.com. Uh, of all the great points that you made, and you made nothing but great points in the, the last 12 minutes that we spent together, when you said he invited all of the players that was a point the media doesn't want out there because he invited black players and white players and hispanic players and the ones that decided not to show up guess what that's on them because he invited the entirety of the team and these grown men, they need to stop acting like spoiled brats. And get the mark out of your own eye. Yes. They need these NFL players that didn't want to show up. Get the racism out of your own heart before That's you right. start trying to point the finger at someone else. Yes. We could go for seven hours, ladies. Uh, it's Diamond and Silk. We appreciate you so much. Thanks so much for coming back on. Thank you Thanks for, for having, having us. us. We're back after this on the Joe Pag Show. Stay right here. <laughs> 